So let's assume that you're planning to venture into content creation and you do not have any idea on where to start from. You don't even know what kind of content you'll be creating. Here is my advice to you, the guiding steps that I think it's best for you to find the sources of content creation. Number one, I look at making research as a priority. You need to research on your audience. You need to know what type of audience you're looking to target so that you can be able to package your content in a way that is friendly to, to them. You need to understand them, their likes, their dislikes, their topics of discussion. What do they like talking about? Do they like talking about certain issues? Focus on those kind of topics. If they are not going to be like friendly to that kind of topic, stay away from that topic. Or package that content in a way that is not going to negatively affect those kind of audience that you're looking for. Because if the content is also negative to your audience, they will stay away from, from actually watching the content that you're creating. Platforms are looking for engagement. You need to look at forums, social media content. People are actually communicating there. Ask questions. Ask your audience the type of topic that they like you to be creating for them. Go to forums. Look at the questions and problems people are trying to find solutions for, but they've not yet found them. Look for those solutions, package your content, and then provide it to them in a way that they can be able to understand. Also, technology has made it easier for us to actually gather information. So with the emergence of artificial intelligence, AI, tools like ChatGPT, they're not here to replace our jobs anytime soon. They're here to make our jobs efficient. We are able to work faster because we can create content, we can come up with ideas using those kind of tools. Perplexity is connected to the internet, so you can ask it anything. It will package it for you in a way that you'll be able to get that information, package it, and then film, and then post it out. We have tools like um, Gemini for Google, which is also effective. It will give you real-time information as well. ChatGPT, I use it a lot when I create scripts and I get those scripts. Then I try to make some changes here and there to make it very easy to understand. Because again, these kind of platforms also are not, they have a lot of errors. So you have to get those scripts and then rewrite them. So you have the idea, but then you have to repackage them. So these tools, the AI tools are there for you. So these are three things. Number one, do your research. So you have to do your research. Number two is that you have to engage your audience through forums and chats. Look at the questions you are asking for and then try to address those kind of questions. Number three is use of AI tools. AI tools are there to help you. Number four, which is also very important, is you have to look out for your competitors. Look at what they're creating, the content they're making. Don't look at them as a threat. Look at them for the gaps that they're missing. The content that they're creating, of course, there is something that is missing. Nobody covers everything in this world. So you have to look at what they're missing and then con create content along that so that you can be able to complement what they've already done. So if they had an, a certain number of audience, but they did not cover everything there, you are guaranteed that those kind of audience will be also on your side as recommendations, and then they'll be able to watch the content they're doing. So I believe this kind of information is going to set you a step ahead when you think of creating content. Ideas are everywhere, by the way. Ideation is a theory that we, are, we all, before we come up with anything, we think about it. The idea has to be unique, you know? And ideas are everywhere, you know? What people talk about, the topics that people talk about in, so in society, those are the things you always have to look out. And then you don't have to create content that is so negative. Look at solution-oriented content because people have problems, look at those solutions. Solve that, you know, that is, that is the only thing, that's the only business you'll be doing. This is a problem, find a content about it that has a solution. Create that content and put it out. People will like you, people will follow you, you know, you'll see me like that ice cream seller. I believe I've given you some answers to your questions and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.